Now, if a visit Portugal is in your bucket list, this story could strengthen your resolve to get there soon. Pat Fernandez gives us a taste of Portugal through spirits that this Latin country is known for. Savor the richness of red and the lightness of green wherever you may be with Portuguese wines. I really encourage everybody to taste the Portuguese port wine, which is the oldest uh, wine in Europe, uh, wine that was created, uh, you know, by the way, before the champagne. So in the 18th century, something that I will strongly advise you to taste, the Portuguese port wine, what uh, we call it Porto. What kind of food can you pair it with? Port wine is a dessert wine. By the end of the meal, when the, we are already uh, eating the dessert, and you know the Portuguese desserts are a little like the Filipino desserts, we love sugar. We love sugar. So I've been told since I arrived that the Filipinos also love sugar. And so the Portuguese uh, port wine, it matches perfectly with desserts. You should drink it in a small glasses because it's quite strong, but uh, it's perfect for dessert. And also for salute, when, you know, that's the, the wine we use. Aside from the port wine, we also have a white wine here or yes. vino verde. Yes. And then we also have the rosé. You know, that's the interesting in Portugal that you see the old wines in Europe. You will uh, actually, um, there are some grapes that are specific of this uh, um, old traditionally producing countries. You will find it in Portugal, in Spain, or in Italy, right? So the new world wines usually are transplanting, you know, the Pinot or the Cabernet, okay? They're just transplanted uh, to another part of the world. But our wines are specifically Portuguese. They say that the redness of your wine is really remarkable because of the blend of the grapes. So what can you say about that? Listen, it depends on several, we have several regions in, the, in, in Portugal. All the regions in Portugal can be wine producing regions. And it's very famous for the bottle because the bottle is a round bottle. You know, you've seen it before in the supermarkets, right? But they are producing this sparkling red uh, pink wine. So just put this on the fridge, let it stay for a while and drink it very cold. It's delicious with seafood. It's very light, it's very soft. It's very pleasant and uh, so I would recommend, strongly recommend this one. Here, uh, here for instance, we have this uh, Gazella Vino Verde. It's a dry white wine. It's a great wine to start off with your meals, to invigorate your taste buds. It's a light, crisp, best served uh, chilled before serving. Aside from a seafood, you can also uh, pair it with uh, enriched fruits like a uh, pasta, uh, poultry, perhaps even some uh, sharp cheeses. What is the advantage of drinking rosé over champagne or red wine? Well, one thing to keep in mind uh, with the rosé wine is that uh, for whatever food you prepared, uh, whatever food that is being prepared on the table, rosé wines would be a better complement. It's a more elegant wine. so. It's actually the, the person that made this wine is a woman, it's a girl. She was uh, awarded Best Winemaker of Portugal last year. She, uh, she was the one that made this wine. This wine is a blend of Toriga Nacional with Cabernet Sauvignon. Basically, this is kind of the most emblematic red wine uh, grape from Portugal. And Cabernet Sauvignon, it's a very known French and they will say that's also very emblematic French grape. So I'm gonna serve you a little, not too much. The wine to taste should not be served a full glass, you know. Should be served a little so you can also feel the aroma of the wine. So you should do like this a little. It's a very elegant wine. And uh, first the thing you should see is the color of the wine. The color is very, it's, it's a ruby, but at the same time, a little brown. That means that there's a little oak on it. 